South African singer Jessie Clegg is back with a brand new album called Life on Mars. This is the follow-up to his platinum-selling album When I Wake Up in 2009. For this album, Clegg travelled to Canada where he enlisted the help of Grammy-winning producer Dave Bottrell. Chatting to DSTV.com, the 23-year-old said he was glad the album is finally out. It's been a, an incredible journey to get to this point. Um, the recording process was just so intense. And the, the writing, I mean, I've been writing this album for three, four years now. You know, I, I, was, I started work on this album you know, before the first album even came out. You know, I was, I've been working on it for a long time. And it's, it's, a, it's a body of work that is fairly expensive. You know, it, it, it's from, you know, just in terms of the, the amount of time it took and the amount of experience that I've had in that time, it just seems like this overwhelming, massive, you know, adventure. In addition to the success of his debut album and his instant fame, the star says his interest in sci-fi novels has helped shape the direction with this album. I kind of liked it because it's just a little crazy and it kind of um, hints at just this new direction that I'm going, uh, which is fairly more alternative, more stylized. Um, I got really interested in sci-fi um, literature last year. I started reading 1984. And, you know, I, I was doing a course in it, so it was just, it just really was quite inspiring for me. Um, and, you know, Life on Mars, it, it kind of, it has sort of um, undertones of being in a foreign environment and um, asking big existential questions, you know, if there's life on Mars, and it's a question that will change everything in a way, you know. And I was kind of asking questions like that, you know, I was, questions about my identity and my place in the world and, um, you know, trying to deal with this completely new and foreign environment, you know, being kind of pushed into the limelight and having to deal with that, you know. So, I guess there's a fair amount of disillusionment, it's a fairly dark album, but, you know, ultimately it's an album about um, growing up and maturing and coming to the world from the perspective of experience rather than innocence. Clegg spent over three months huddled up in Dave Bottrell's Toronto studios recording the album. Besides the bottomless coffees, he said getting the stamp of approval from Bottrell, who is credited for his work with the likes of Placebo and Stained, was a rewarding experience. We would have hours debating things in, this, in the studio, not, not only you know, recording it, but actually talking, like music philosophy. It was just very interesting, you know, it was, it was a great defining moment for me as an artist to be able to you know, debate my music with someone and kind of justify it uh, to them and you know, for myself. You know, I was kind of proving it to myself as well um, and luckily you know when I came into the this album it was um, almost complete I mean I, I wrote all the songs before I went over and Dave even said it, it was it was one of the most complete projects he's worked on you know just the, the songs all the arrangements were down you know we, we changed very little from their original stuff I mean if, if anything I think he added a huge amount of mu uh, sound quality just uh, getting great performances and great sounds, like just the technical sounds. He's a great mixer and he just uh, brought a certain intensity to the studio that I had never experienced before and was incredibly challenging and inspiring for me. The clarity singer who is hitting the road to promote the new material says he is particularly proud of this album and he's certain that there's enough for everyone. People get tired of hearing the same sound. You know, they want to hear, they want to hear new things, new, new ideas. You know, that I, I really dislike bands where all their songs sound the same. You know, they're kind of basically writing the same song over and over again in a different key. You know, for me, I, I really I like um, albums and artists that have the ability to kind of experiment in different genres and different um, melodic inclinations and different, you know, tempos and sounds. And, and they're, they're completely um, are led by the music as opposed to being led by what they're capable of. You know, they kind of just they just go where they feel. You know, and that's that's really what I've I've always been about. And I mean, the first album had a, a fair amount of diversity on it. You know, and I think that this album there's definitely something for everyone. You know, for people who like the first album, there's enough on this album in terms of commercial radio friendly songs for them to latch onto. And then there's also for people who haven't heard me, there's enough like sort of weird alternative challenging moments that. You know, I think that a more alternative order to be like, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Log on to omusic.com now and download Jesse Clegg's brand new album live on Mars.